Welcome back to Superior Sunrise. Like I said before we went to break, is we have two very special guests coming on the show, Rindy and Jesse. I want to thank you both for being here with Ag in the Classroom. We have the pleasure of getting to have you guys or somebody from Ag in the Classroom come on every year. And it's such a great program that you guys offer. So, Jesse, tell us a little bit about it. I mean, kind of how it started and it's evolved over the years. Right. Well, we want to thank you so much for all the support and the opportunity to visit with folks today about what we're doing. Because uh, I in the classroom is over 30 years old, but really in the last four years, we've said, you know, if you have a student in elementary school right now, if you have a grandchild, if you care about the trajectory of Wyoming, we are creating curriculum to go into the schools for grades two through five that help our students to be critical thinkers and understand where our food comes from. And we think that that is really vital for today. It's really, really vital, and it's really important um, that you guys do implement that because, I mean, they're the stewards of our land, and the younger that we can teach them, you know, the more knowledgeable they'll be growing up, and they can teach and educate other people, um, but there's a lot that goes into it. It's not as easy as it sounds, as right. you made it sound right now. I mean, there's a lot of funding that goes into it, so kind of tell us what it is and what it takes to make it all happen. Yeah, well, as um, I'm a new staff member with Wyoming Ag in the Classroom, I used to be on the board of directors and loved it so much I joined in <laughs> whole, wholeheartedly. But it does take a lot to make any program. You know, you've got your teacher's time coming together to make, make the materials even happen, tying it all to standards, and then we've got editors and proofers and graphic designers and, you know, uh, the time and staff time to put into it. So it's a big deal and it's a big effort, and so we try to do a little fundraising to make it all happen. We've got stuff like 5k races that we're doing this fall as a fundraisers and you know we're looking at right now we just actually finished a feasibility study and are looking at the possibility of a capital campaign coming on in the future. So that really is awesome. I know um that we've had young kids who participated and older I mean I think there's been some older ones last year that came on and they really appreciate it I mean they really see the benefits of it and they get something out of it and they find it to be so fun and you know just be a part of that what does that mean to you guys when you kind of hear the feedback from it and you see the results and just really the impact it has sure um, well and especially being involved in this for so long it just gives me goosebumps the yeah. fact that we're engaging students in a way that they feel a responsibility to be a steward when they become our future voters our future community leaders I mean this is this is a big deal for Wyoming and so to have that type of impact in classrooms all across the state I just think it's tremendous so we want to thank our supporters encourage other supporters to help us and um, to really make a difference for Wyoming this yeah. is pretty special well I think it makes a difference for Wyoming but it really does I mean it's getting noticed all over and I think that's a says something about what you guys are doing and I want to thank you for being here to get today we'll come back with another special guest don't go anywhere